You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you into the Let's Play episode of Tennessee. So, oh, I'm gonna try and get a liar video out to you guys today. Uh, the new update bricked my save, uh, so I'm having to restart from scratch, and the skip function does not work in liar. <laughs> So I am having to press that space bar, yeah, like crazy, and it's cramped up my hands. It, I forgot how much damn content that game has. <laughs> but anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy for 18 minutes. Let me entertain you, and let's jump right in. Alarm saying you're up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Guess you managed to get here on time. Jeez, the officials usually ask the other player if he's okay with waiting for his opponent to arrive. If he's not, then he gets an automatic win. I get that winning is important and everything, but this guy was ready to give me a match loss over a couple minutes of delay? And just give me one second to get ready. At least I managed to change my shirt on the way over. Now I just need to check the strings on my, on my rackets and... Okay, all set. Let me lower this song. I don't know if this is a copyrighted song. I hope it's not. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's more manageable. I get in place as fast as I can, trying not to delay every everything on any further. At least running over here already counts as warming up. All right, it's time for me to do this. I take a deep breath and ready myself. I see an opportunity to return a straight shot onto the open court and strike the ball with as much power as I can muster. It hits the court and slides away. My opponent doesn't even come close to reaching it. The bull just stands there, panting and looking at the ball in a daze. Game, set, and match won by Michimaya. Count 6-2 to 6-0. Wow, this match has went pretty fast. This must be some kind of record. It didn't even take me an hour. I walk up to the net to shake hands with my opponent, who simply looks up at me with a sour expression and grumbles something incoherent. Nice game! <laughs> well, can't help you there, buddy. I put my things back into my bag and hurry out of the court. I'm welcomed by the smiles of my little brother in June. Nice game, Aniki! You're an awesome- you're always- uh, you're all- blah! You're awesome as always! Yeah, that last ball especially—it went zoom and went out of the, uh, went out of his reach. It was pretty fun to watch. Ha! <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourself. Has Shuichi been around recently? Yeah, he said Sayasan is doing well in her match, but yeah. Apparently, Urushihara san is losing. What? Without even thinking, I dash over to his court as fast as I can. What? Well, Aniki, wait up! I hear their voices fading away as I continue to leave them behind. I hear the sounds of the bo of the ball before I even before I even reach their court. I can see Shuichi standing way too close to the fence, clenching his fist around the metal link so hard that his entire arm is shaking. I'm surprised the thing isn't getting crushed. Sh Shuichi! His look softens somewhat as he turns to look at me, but I can see the irritation clearly plastered on his face. Shuichi, your match is already finished? I take a second to catch my breath, running all the way to the other side of the club after a match still leaves me a little winded. Yeah, I won, of course, but June told me things aren't going well at this end, so I rushed over here. Did you at least inform the desk clerks of the result? No, but I can do that after this match ends. He nods, turning his back to the game. When I look at the two guys playing, the difference is immediately obvious. Keisuke is running ragged, desperately trying to keep up with the other player's assault. It's like a cannon firing repeatedly against a wall, the cracks quickly beginning to show. And by the time I got here, it had already evolved from cracks to full-blown demolition. What's the score? Right now, it's 5-2 on the second set. The other guy won the first one by 6-3. Meaning that Kasuk has been getting overwhelmed from the get-go? But, uh, but how? I knew, he was, I knew he was good, but my gut feeling told me this guy was good. Ever since we met him out on the streets that day, he, I've been watching multiple videos of him, but I could never imagine that he was this good. It takes some serious skill to take Kasuk down, let alone this easily. None of his strategies have worked. At the most, he could, yeah, he could force a rally to go on for a little longer. Now the other guy would either run him out of the point or just break through with brute force. The sound of the fence of the fence's link shaking echoes. I look down to see Shuichi gripping even tighter. G God damn it, Arushi Howard! Don't you dare lose like this. Have some pride. God, Shuichi, it looks really scary right now. He probably doesn't even notice that he's talking out loud. Is seeing Keikun losing affected him by this much? I never expected that. Come on, come on! You can do this. You bastard! You can't lose here. You're better than this. I can't tell whether he's rooting for him or not. Aki and June catch up to us, with the tiger looking like he's about to drop to the floor from exhaustion. Sorry it took so long. I couldn't leave Kobayashi-san behind. Huh. 
Thanks, Aki. How bad is it? One particular shot echoes much louder than the rest. Kasuk's opponent, Yuyukun, just smashed a ball that Kasuk couldn't control and ended up returning too high. The shot hits the ground with force, leaving Kaken completely incapable of reacting. 40-15! Match point. No! The mood grows more and more somber as we watch both players return to their positions to resume play. Match point. If Kaken allows his opponent to score again, he loses. Arushi san can't lose like this, right? Damn, come on, Arushi Hara, get a grip! The Akita throws his ball high into the sky and serves. It's a fast, wide slice that aims to jump away from the court. Come on, Kaken, you can get it! He barely managed to reach the ball in time, tapping it over to the other side and keeping it as close to the lines as possible, returning the ball to his opponent's backhand. The Akita runs to the ball and... He's going around it? Yuyukun runs around the ball, putting himself in a position to return the ball with his with his forehand. He hits a fast, flat shot to the other side of the court and... <laughs> Even with his speed, Kasuk is nowhere near the ball by the time it bounces. Ha! Huh? No, no way! Ka! The crowd goes quiet for a second, absorbing everything that just happened. The umpire, ho uh, the umpire opens his mouth to make the call. Game, set, and match won by Kokonose. Count 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, the crowd erupts in cheers, clapping and screaming words of praise to the victor. Meanwhile, the four of us stand in place, frozen in shock. Kasuk just lost? In his first year as a high school student, he already established himself as the second best player in our prefecture. A guy like that just lost to some no-name first-year player? Damn it! Shuichi kicks the fence in frustration. Whoa, calm down there, big guy. He grumbles something incoherent and continues to glare at nowhere. Come on, guys, we have to at least try to stay positive when he comes out, okay? You know Arushihara, no matter what we do or say, he's going to be down. I nod, trying to think of some way, something that I can do to cheer him up. Here he comes. I walk over to the course to the court's exit. Yuyukun has already left a while ago, not even bothering to linger around. Good thing he didn't notice us. I don't know if I'd be in a good mood in a good enough mood to have a conversation with him if he tried to talk to me again. Oh, excuse me. Kasuk slowly walks over to the exit, looking down at the floor with a complicated expression the whole time. Ah. At first he only sees our feet, but when he looks up and notices our faces, he finally reacts. His eyes look distant and tired. Even though I'm looking for a clue as to how he feels, any kind of clue, he merely looks away with a painfully neutral expression. I guess it was too much to hope that you guys would have watched that, huh? k kasuk -san. This is the first time June's called him by his first name. Kasuk doesn't fail to notice that, his eyes immediately snapping towards the tiger. Hey, hey, don't give me that face, okay? But, but I'm really sorry that... June chokes up a bit. He's not good at consoling people, and frankly, it shows. Sheesh, seriously, cheer up a bit, okay? It's just a tennis match. There will be dozens of other matches in my career, and it's not like I can win every single one. Kaken smiles widely to show that he's not upset. Uh, oh, is that so? It's obvious. It's painfully obvious to anyone. Kasuk's smile is strained. Forced. He's not wrong. This is just a tennis match. There will be many others to come. If he were to feel down after each and every loss, then, he, then he'd be burdening himself way too much. But none of that matters. Feelings aren't logical. No one likes to lose. The frustration you feel after defeat, it's the same no matter who you are. If you're a rank amateur or professional, I'm sure that the frustration someone feels after losing is always the same. As long as you truly love something, there's no way you wouldn't be frustrated by defeat. Not bothering to say another word, Kasich walks past us. I want to say something to him. I should say something to him. But I don't have the right. Who am I to encourage him after a tough loss when I've been sulking about mine for years now? The score, the score doesn't always tell you how a match went. Even if the score seems lopsided, the match could still have been a close one. But this isn't the case. Just seeing how that last point went, I could already tell. If Kasich was toyed with the whole match, he never had a chance. He was just forced to keep playing and watching as his chances of victory were taken away from him. In tennis, there's no such thing as certain victory. Anyone can have a chance. At least that's what my father used to tell me. But how can I say something like that to him after seeing how his match went? Arushihara! Shuichi calls out to him, and the hare stops and dead and stops and dead in his tracks. He doesn't turn around, keeping his back to us the whole time. What, what is it? His voice comes out shakier than before. Are you... are you going to be alright? Kasuk's body shifts. He puts an arm at his waist and begins slowly shaking his head. Oh god, not you too. What? 
Don't start with this sappy melodrama and pretend that you're worried about me. It's creepy. What? What? Completely taken aback by his response, Shuichi freezes on the spot, unable to do or say anything. If you guys will excuse me, I need some time alone to think. Kasich walks up to a nearby bench and plops himself down, grabbing a towel from his back and putting it over his head. He leans forward in his seat, the towel covering his head in a way that I can't see his face. I can't see what it looks like. Um, Kasich san are you sure you don't want us to keep you company? Y yeah, I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Go watch Mizuguchi san's match or something. I don't care. Just get out of my hair. Oh, oh right. Kasich's words are sharp. Sharp enough to make June instantly give up on offering him support. Truthfully, I can't come up with anything to say either. What does it even say? A Aniki. A Aki grabs the sleeve of my shirt, tugging on it to grab my attention. Shouldn't you say something? He whispers to me, his eyes full of worry. I shake my head negative. I don't have any right to try to cheer him up right now, and honestly, I don't think I could. There's nothing I could say to him, as his friend or as his rival. From the corner of my eye, I can see Shuichi shaking. When I turn to look at him, I see him... I see him with clenched fists and gritted teeth. His hands are clenched so tightly that they shake violently, and I fear that he could puncture his palms with his claws. Sho? Before I get any words out, Shuichi begins walking towards the hair with heavy, pounding steps. You little bastard! He grabs Kasich by the collar of his shirt and lifts him up, leaving the hair hovering a few centimeters above his seat. Kasich rushes to stabilize himself, planting his feet firmly on the ground and moving his arms to support himself against the bench. I'm amazed that his shirt isn't ripped from being grabbed and tugged like that. Even if his initial reaction was out of shock, Kasich is quick to compose himself. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Me? What's wrong with you? You got your pride hurt because you got beaten like a chump and now you're gonna lash out on us? And I'm being creepy? How dare you, little ungrateful prick? Finally regaining my senses, I rush over to the two to try to defuse the situation. Sh Shuichi, that's enough. Let him go. As soon as I place my hands on his shoulder, Shuichi moves his arm to push me aside. I can tell that he's holding himself back. Otherwise, I probably would have planted my ass firmly on the ground. This doesn't concern you, Yuichi. Fuck off! His eyes don't even move a little bit towards my direction. I continue to stare at Kasuks, unmoving. But little I can see of Kasuks' face, since most of it is blocked by Shuichi's towering figure, shows me, a, shows me a snide look. Oh, please, you! Worried about me? Don't make me laugh. I don't need that kind of thing from you. Our relationship isn't like that. And yeah, I don't care about your sympathy. I don't want it. You can go shove it somewhere else. Stop being such a bitch. We're just trying to help you cheer up. There was no need for you to talk to us like that, especially Junkun. I don't care. I don't need your help. Chuichi pauses for a second, tightening his grip around Keikun. For a split second there, I'm sure he's that he's going to punch him. Instead, he lets him go and takes a step back. Fine, you don't want sympathy, then that's fine. Here's what I really think of your pissy little attitude. You're trying to pretend you're fine, that you don't need our help, and you don't want us around. Don't make me laugh. It's so obvious that you're hurting. It's so obvious that it's actually kind of disgusting. Shuichi, sir. I put a hand in front of June, trying to silently tell him to just watch. He does as instructed and quiets down. I don't think interrupting these two is a good idea right now. Plus, I kind of have a feeling about what Shuichi is trying to do. I think I'll just trust him on this. Huh? Who are you calling disgusting? You, of course. What are you planning on doing now? Mope around like a little loser? No one needs a sad sack. Get yourself together already. This is pathetic. Well, anyone will be down after a loss. What are you talking about? Not you. Ooh, excuse me. What's with those dead eyes of yours that look like you've already, that look like you've already given up? I've never seen such a pathetic look on your face before. It irritates me. You've never been the type to just get down after a loss. You always use it to prop yourself forward. Moping around, lashing out, don't screw with me. That's not you and you know it. You don't even know me at all. You don't even know me all that well. Oh, please. We might not be the greatest of friends, but I've been spending almost all of my days with you since we met. I've seen you lose plenty of times before, and I've never seen you getting down. Annoyed? Sure, but down? Never. So pull yourself together already. This isn't the Arushihara that I've come to respect. We both glare at each other for a few more seconds. My heart feels like it might pop from the tension. If I'm wrong and this goes badly, I don't want to have to deal with a fist fight between my friends. But then the impossible happens. Keiken sits himself back down, sighing out loud. Fine, I see what you're trying to say. <sighs> I think this is the first time we've met since I, that, that you've spoken to me like this. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't blow up at you any sooner. You really are a pain to deal with. Same here. God, you're so insufferable. 
I could see the corner of Kasich's mouth curving up in a half smile. Was was I right? Come on, we don't need to deal with this right now, and I need to cool off. Chuichi walks up to us, opening his arms and hurting us away from Kasich. Well, well, what about Kasich, san I don't want to deal with his annoying ass right now. If you're not coming, then I'll leave you here. Chuichi turns around to leave. Oh, uh, I'm coming, I'm coming! I continue to stand in place, my eyes fixated on Kasich as the other two walk away. Aki tugs on my sleeves again, looking up to me in confusion. Aniki, should we go with them? I look at Kasich one last time. Even if it's faint, I can see his shoulders shaking a little bit. These two, they really can't be honest with each other, can they? It should be obvious what Oshuichi was actually doing, and Kasich knows what he was doing. Yet they won't admit it. They really are birds of a feather when it comes to this. Yeah, let's leave Keiken alone for now and go with the others. Hey, Shuichi, wait up! It takes us a bit of running, but we managed to catch up to Shuichi next to the service desk. Jeez, did he have to go all the way to the center of the venue? Jesus, slow down a little. Look at June, he can barely catch his breath. I I'm fine! You don't look fine. I'm fine! Whoa, Akiyoshi could what are you- why are- why are you the- Why are there two of you? <laughs> Actually, is he- is he stumbling on his feet? I- I stand corrected, he's the picture of health. I guess I did exaggerate a little. I just need to get away from that idiot. You could really do your, you could really do it with some self-control, you know? Did you really have to tear into him in public? No, I guess I just let my anger get the better of me. I hate when people act all defeated and mopey instead of just doing something about it. I snapped. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's what that was about. <laughs> I love that smirk he's got. What do you mean? I think you're just coming up with an excuse because you don't want to admit that you were trying to look out for him. What? That's ridiculous. I despise Arushihara. I was just looking for a chance to yell at him for a bit. Uh, so you say, but I think you were just pretending to do that when in reality you were trying to cheer him up with some tough love. What? That's... I mean, nuh -uh. <laughs> Ah, yes. The middle school way of ending conversations. Nuh-uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Aki pulls June a few steps back with a smile plastered on his face. I decided to pay them no mind. Yaha! Uh -huh. At no moment did you insult him. All you did was tell him that he wasn't, act wasn't acting like himself and tried to encourage him. I, I would never! You two really can't be honest about how much you care for each other, huh? Sh shut up! Shokun, you're such a, you're such a sundere. I try to imitate a cutesy boyish voice. It comes off all weird and raspy, but it does its job. She wishy turns an even darker shade of red. Shut up! Seeing him shaking, seeing him sh blah, seeing him looking so flustered is absolutely hilarious. He's so adorable when he's trying to hide his embarrassment. I think I already know the answer to this question, but have these two always been like this? Oh yeah, for as long as I can remember, they've always acted like an old married couple. Although the roles have kind of reversed from when I was little. Really? What do you mean? Well... Aki, shut up! Aki, shut up! We both speak in unison, cutting him off before Aki can get any further in his story. What? Fine, fine. While June is completely caught off guard by a sudden reaction, Aki is incredibly nonchalant about it, not one bit surprised or upset by, upset by it. Jeez, I feel so out of whack all of a sudden. You do? I'm the one who, who just played a full match. Oh please, your match didn't even last an hour. Which reminds me, don't you have to relay the results to of the officials? Oh, yeah, that's true. I'll be right back. It doesn't take me more than five minutes to inform them of the results and then get and then get the time for my next match. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!